All right, y'all, what's going on, what's going on? All right, so today I was gonna eat something completely different, but it has not worked out that way. So I'm eating leftovers, I'm eating my leftover cheesesteak. Okay, so if you're into the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things like see us try, things like see us cook. Interact with us, because we do like to hear from you. I'm gonna start guys and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What I should have did was just started this video over again because it's at like six minutes and I was not sitting in front of this camera. Oh, sorry. Also, maybe I'll just show a close up from when I originally got it because nothing to see here, folks. It's the same thing. Um, it's time like these. I really love having an air fryer because it just makes everything so much easier. It makes reheat and stuff super easy. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that um they do different stuff on the weekends like they have specialty sandwiches on the weekend or something like that like today you know, I'm talking about Wario's pork and beef the place I got this from um, this is our crunch. Today I saw, I don't even know why I got this. I got that, but I guess I'm gonna dip it because I got it right here. This is Chick fil A sauce. Um, They have some sort of specialty hot dog or something. Put them on there or something. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Look at it. Off, off. So, I'll be noticing, like, on, especially on DoorDash, I don't know be, if it's Uber Eats all like that, but. Restaurants be making up other restaurants under a different name that you can order from on, on DoorDash. And I mean, I think some, I know one, like, so for, for instance, Guy Fieri's Flavor Town was like operating out of a main restaurant, uh, Buca de Beppo. I think that's where I got that from. It was either Buka de Beppo or um, Molly Woo's. And Molly Woo's is a uh, like an Asian restaurant. Um, or Brio. Maybe it was a Brio. I don't know. And then, what's that other one? That, uh, dang it. Burger Place. Beast Burger was operating out of a different maybe Beast Burger was the one I got from uh, Booyah. I don't know, but so I guess some some of those specialty restaurants be using like main restaurants kitchens or whatever to, to make those meals. But then other times, like the restaurants be having some other restaurants. So for example, I know Old Charlie's. I feel like it's something about a dockside or something that is out of Old Charlie's, but just like seafood. And then I was seeing something else yesterday while I was perusing the DoorDash and um, uh, the 
Uber Eats. It was like chicken finger hot dogs, but it was through like a well-known place. That it was probably like a uh, Buffalo. I actually think it might have been Buffalo Wild Wings. Somebody. Mm, that just cracks me up. Like, why don't y'all just add that to your menu? But I guess they don't want to, you know. Go outside of their they normal brand. But I wonder if i how that works and how much more work is that adding on the kitchen staff, you know? Especially if it's something that they normally don't have on their menu, you know? I feel like, oh, Charlie's got a couple different places that's, like, operating out of their kitchen or whatever. And, and so does Boogie the Beppo, for real. But, maybe they, um, well, obviously they probably charged them some sort of premium fee or whatever to, um, whatever you want to call it, to, you know, use their kitchen and stuff. And that's probably, you know... They probably agreed to it being that they probably ain't getting a whole, you know, a whole lot of business. Because I definitely noticed this, you know, during the panties or whatever. Because my thing is, when I be seeing these places on um, DoorDash, I be like, well, I don't necessarily want to pay that much for, no, maybe say the delivery fee or something like that. And all these service charges, I'm gonna just go to a restaurant and pick it up. And then you look at you look at these places up, and they do not be um, they do not be a real place for real. Um, so I just happened to see the the chicken finger hot dog place, and it said it was out, you know, by such and such. I wonder if they start doing that. For all them little side restaurants or whatever, so it confused that. Um, there's this place I want to go called Dave's Cosmic Sub or something like that, but I remember during Sub Week. I think mean, I was just looking up different sub places, and I feel like that name had came up, but and I want to say I was trying to like DoorDash or Instacart or some, or not Instacart, DoorDash or DoorDash it probably, and um, it was like too far away for it to come to me. Um, but I don't know, that sub really sounded interesting, so I wanted to try it. That was probably a really random thought, but y'all y'all are used to it, right? He's a stage five cougar. Mm -hmm. All right, so I told y'all that one, I finally have my kitchen chairs together. Um, they have only been sitting in my living room since. The remainder of my kitchen chairs, I think they came the day of Gavin's get-together. So that was June 11th. 
It is now July 2nd. Judge your mama. Um, so I finally put them together, but I'm sorry because, shoot, they, they put the other three together that I had. I was waiting. I had three. I was waiting on three more. And they put the other three together, but they didn't put these together. I didn't pay for them to put them together, that, though, so I mean, I get it, but I'm just saying, y'all did them why y'all couldn't do these for real. Um, I'm also not going to tell you that they gave me an extra pair. Because I was like, I was tripping because they only brought me two boxes. And I'm like, um, I'm like, is it three of these or whatever? They're like, yeah, they're in the boxes. I'm like, okay. Because um, obviously I'll be calling whenever I went to, you know, whatever, whenever I went to put these together out, you know, I'll be on the line calling them up like, hey, y'all messed up. And so, you know, I knew, I knew that, um, I got like four of one style because those was the four of like the basic style chair, right? And then I got two of the, like, the other two chairs have like arms on them. Um, and, but them, I was, they cost more. So I only got, that's when I only got two of them versus getting all six of those. I was just like, I ain't got it like that. I ain't got it like that, right? So they gave me two boxes with, I mean, two boxes. One had two of the basic chair and one had two of the other chair. And I'm just like, mm, that's their fault. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm grateful because, shoot, I'm, I'm needed for real because, shoot, you know, as many people be over here when we have gatherings and stuff or whenever we have Sunday dinner or family dinner or stuff like that, it would just be nice to be able to sit at the table finally. I mean, I was already sitting at the table. I think it'd just be nice, like, you know. Um, and I really love this table. Um, like, I think I was telling y'all that I just could not get away from this table. Like, I tried. I've looked at a lot of different tables online and in person. And I just always kept coming back to this one. I like it. It's different. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I And I wanted to get something that wasn't uh, or couldn't potentially become wobbly. Because um, y'all y'all heard them rickety rackety chairs that I was in, and then my table was wobbly, so I definitely wanted something that was solid and firm. Now these chairs are could potentially be wobbly. Actually, Mr. C's probably gonna have to like tighten my chairs, uh, the ones that I put together, because uh, yeah, they're like they are not wobbly, but they're like off center, like they're not flat like the ones that the people like I, I do this now I actually don't remember if this is one that they put I think this one that they put together so I guess I shouldn't feel too too bad but you know it's it, it rocks it's not even level with the ground and stuff so I don't know I mean I'm pretty sure I followed directions properly and put the stuff where it's supposed to go but I don't know the legs are uneven so that's one thing and then I told y'all that me and my girlfriend we went to TJ Maxx and she helped me uh, decorate or get stuff to decorate my half bathroom. So shout out to you, Ebony girl, my um, my in state uh, interior designer because you know Yasmin is my out of state interior de uh, interior designer and she's been helping me um, as well. So I've been like you know gleaning on both of them. Yasmin kind of, Yasmin helped me like. Uh, you know, pick out stuff for my living room and stuff like that. Ebony gave me the idea for some of the, like when I told her what colors I wanted, she gave me the idea for this yellow chair that everybody like tries to steal when they are. I get a lot of compliments on yellow chair. Some people have um, expressed that they wanted it and I just am not giving up because I love it so much. Um, but you know, something to pop or whatever because otherwise it would have just been a whole living room of blues and grays. But this yellow chair like really helps it pop. So that's the thing. So anywho, I finished the, I should have done a video like showing you me, like the process of putting all the stuff together or whatever. Um, now I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show a quick little video of how the bathroom came together. Um, don't judge the one towel. I probably do at some point. Listen, it took me, well, it ain't take me that long. Maybe a couple days because we went on what, Monday, maybe no Tuesday. Maybe we went Tuesday to get the stuff. And I just put it up yesterday, I think. So that was Friday. So a couple days. Um, but uh, one of the tiles, I need to turn it around because the tag of the t either cut the tag or turn the towel around like and use the other end of it. But 
that might not happen no time soon but eventually so yeah i'm gonna show you a little video clip of um the bathroom and how it came out all right as promised a bathroom decor video video sorry my bathroom is kind of angled so you really can't see everything but i really fell in love with towels folded like this i told y'all before that uh i need to change these towels around so this is not showing um but yeah that and then i had bought that from i don't know where i got that from at home i think and then i got bought these little shelves off amazon and these are the like the little things i got on there so far i just need to add one more thing and then i need some wall art somewhere i don't know if i'm gonna keep that picture up here i kind of just put it up there when i moved so i just have somewhere to put it or whatever um but i don't know we may keep it in there it's, i don't it doesn't go with the theme of anything in here but i don't i don't i'm not mad that it's in here so yeah some some little picture to go like on these walls or something and, and one to go over here and then like i just need like one more little knickknack thing to go up on that top shelf up there but i mean so far i mean she really hooked me up man so shout out to my friend ebony for hooking me up thanks girl oh and these are the rugs that yasmin does not like <laughs> So the this rug, you know, the contour rug is what that one's called, and then the toilet seat cover. But I don't know, I just absolutely love them. I don't know. Um, I don't know, it just makes it I don't know, homey in, in something or other, but that one kind of low-key don't fit on there. So cause this toilet too big. Anywho, I need to get a new like the toilet seats or my toilet seats are abnormally large, but at least I feel like I did good because they're not matchy matchy. Like I definitely didn't get all three of these. All three of these rugs on the floor came from somewhere else. Well, the toilet seat cover, the one in these two on the floor, all three came from different stores. So I, I feel like I feel good about that. I don't know. But um, it was so funny. This this um, thing right here, this little beaded thing, uh, <laughs> we saw it. And even though we were kind of almost done getting everything, me and Ebony both, she was just like, well, Ebony was just like, look, you can't leave that in the store. You got to get that. But after we get this, we ain't going to get nothing else. So, um, and I think I did pick like the hardest blue, but I, I mean, I don't know. I love that. I love the different blues and that's what I'm going for. Like, I'm not, I don't want everything to be matchy matchy. I want it to be different stuff, but I think it still goes, even though like these blues are different. So yeah, this candle is super huge. Like I don't even think the video does it justice. It's super huge, but we like it. So yeah. And this, this is actually a candle as well, but it was cute. She told me I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> All right. Uh, like I said, I should have did it like, uh, you know, when I was actually putting it together, because that would have been cool. But we'll see the, you'll see the finished product. And yeah, um, other than that, I think I'm done rambling for the time being. Oh man, oh, what was that painting? I think I, I, think I was telling y'all that I probably will just DIY maybe a painting, like, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I haven't always considered myself like really artistic in the like drawing painting field. However, I went to a paint and sip and this one, this one that I did at a paint and sip is actually the bottom. I feel like, like, I think I love it so much. I think I did a fairly good job. Um, but I mean, you know, especially like the abstract ones, like those don't have, there's no rhyme or reason. Like you don't have to follow a you know, script on there or whatever. You just get the brush and just, you know, let it flow or whatever, you know? So I may do that. I may, but I mean, I, like I said, I got to get a smaller one and kind of practice about and be salty if I, you know, the smaller one turn out tight and the other ones don't. I think, um, I don't know. I don't know if I can even explain this properly, but like I've always like even drawing and stuff like that, just never knew how to place stuff in a picture or on or on a picture or something like do I do I put too much is, does, is it going to be clutter like I'm just so such a like a neat person like so doing abstract stuff is going to be a challenge I think because I'm just so like rigid like oh I gotta stay in the lines you know stuff like that like so I don't know we'll see now I can color I could color in the lines and I could do that but um I've never been a really drawer. About stick figures is about the, the best of my drawing ability. Uh, unless I'm cop now, I'm a good copycat, so I can like, um, and that's that's a, with anything. Like I can mimic something really good. So you know, 
I could like mimic what somebody else did and stuff like that, like recreate something. But okay, so maybe that's what I could do. I could probably look online and like look at some like abstract something and then kind of try to recreate. I don't know, y'all. We gonna see. We gonna see. But I just couldn't bring myself to pay. The one that we really liked, me and Ebony really liked, was like 130, 129. And then the one, the other one was like maybe 79 or something like that. And I didn't like the 79 one more. I didn't like the actual picture, but I did like, I think I liked the frame on the less expensive one. Because, yeah, I definitely don't want like a plain frame either. You know, I want it to be like, I don't know, something. So, you know, I think I've done, I, I think I've rambled enough. Because y'all know I can keep going. I got something I need to do. So, uh, I'm peace out on y'all. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try. Things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one.